welcome back to beginner adult hockey today i wanted to talk about a couple rules of beer league hockey we've talked before about the number one rule of beer league hockey and if you remember nothing else from all of this the number one thing to remember in beer league hockey is just don't be a jerk don't be that guy that's always complaining that nobody wants to play with that goes and hits people that does all of that think of like brad marchand right when he not only does he hit people kind of in a dirty way, but then he complains anytime somebody hits him. Don't be that guy. That is always the number one rule of beer league hockey. However, I wanted to talk about the number two rule of beer league hockey, which I am totally making up that's number two. However, I think this could catch on. So just listen in. Uh, the, the way that I can sum up the whole rule, because I do have different pieces of it, is just don't be a baby. Hockey is a tough sport and we need to be tough. You are very padded up if you fall. Um, so the number one piece of that I will say is just get up. And I can sum it up in that and what that means. And I learned this from somebody who learned as a child to play hockey is what their coach told them is just if you get hit and you stay on the ice because you're trying to milk a penalty or something, you are taking one player away from your team and you're not able to go get up and help the play. And they're more likely to score if you only have four players on the ice. And I do want to add an addendum. If you're injured or you think you might be injured, don't get up. That's not what I'm talking about here. You need to make sure that your body is okay. Even if you just need to lie there for a minute and be like, okay, am I okay? Like I got hit pretty hard. That's not what we're talking about. If you're injured or you think you might be injured, stay on the ice because that is more important than any of this. However, if you're not injured, what you need to make sure that you do is the second you get down, you get up as soon as you can because you need to get back there and you need to help your team. Number two piece of this is kind of related. It's just don't milk it because sometimes people will get out there and say, oh, I got hit and they'll stay on the ice even though they're not injured trying to draw a penalty on their opponent. Refs know what they're, what you're doing. They know if it was a penalty or not. And so if you stay on the ice trying to milk it, not only can you get a penalty for that, but they are going to know. And then again, you're going to be down one player and your team is going to have one fewer player. And if you're down on the ice trying to milk that penalty or milk a potential penalty, then your team is at a disadvantage. When I first started, sometimes I would try that where like somebody hits me and I'm really mad about it. So I kind of fly further than, you know, I would have otherwise. And they never called it. And it's just like, you know what? It's taking my time to be that dramatic and nothing's happening anyway. So just know that refs know what's going on. If somebody hits you, they'll know if it's a penalty or not. And if it's not a penalty, they won't call it or they missed it. And, you know, that happens sometimes and that's okay too. But being dramatic is not going to change that at all. And it kind and it just makes you look like not good. Okay, so the next piece of this is just don't complain to the refs because the refs hate nothing more than a guy that comes up to them and says, hey, you missed something or hey, do your job better. You know, nobody has ever gotten what they wanted from a ref by going up to them and saying that. First of all, if you're going up to a ref, you should be doing it through your team captain. So if you go to your team captain and say, hey, I don't think this was fair, can you talk to him? The team captain will... I'm just going to say, we'll probably say, uh, you know, that wasn't a penalty. You probably need to chill out. But nothing, never in the history of hockey has anybody ever gotten what they wanted by going up to a ref and saying, you did your job wrong. So I'm just saying, I'm not agreeing with refs all the time because I understand that there's a lot of entry level refs and we need a lot more training. Um, but you need to know that you're not going to get anything accomplished by going up to a ref. So you know what? Suck it up. It happened. Continue on with the game and keep going. And you know what? Go score a point and then you'll feel better about all of it. The next part of this is just to be a good teammate. Go out there. Have fun. None of us are going to the NHL. We all have to go to work tomorrow. Bring beer occasionally. That's always a nice little plus. And just be a good person because that's going to make you somebody that people want to continue to invite again. The the reason I think I keep getting invited back is because, you know, I go out there, I have fun, I try to be a bright, positive person out there. I'm not always as competitive as my teammates because 
in the end, none of this matters except for we all want to win while we're out there, you know? So just be a good teammate and understand that if you are just somebody with a bad attitude, nobody is going to want to play with you again in the future. So that is my number two rule of beer league hockey, which again, I totally made up, but I also think is really, really important because you need to get out there and be a good teammate. And if you're laying on the ice when you're not injured or you're complaining to a ref and you get kicked out or you just aren't a good teammate, then nobody's going to want to play with you. So just remember, Remember that when you get out there is that the whole goal for all of this is to have fun to play a game to hopefully win and um, get invited back next time so don't forget to subscribe and like below and let me know if you have any more tips for videos I should do in the future thanks for watching Close the door.